Okay. All right. This is our reading of Fat Pig. It is a play by Neil Butte. Um, from the top. That first meeting with her. A woman in a crowded restaurant standing at one of those tall tables. A bunch of food in front of her, and she is quietly eating it. By the way, she's plus-sized. Very. After a moment, a man enters, juggling a lunch tray. He looks around, then moves towards her. Pretty big. Excuse me? I'm sorry. I was just sort of, you know, speaking out loud, pretty big in here. That's what I was saying. Oh, right. Lots of room for, you know, people. Yes, it's popular. The man looks around trying to see if there's a spot for him yet. You can eat here if you want. No, I don't need to. Um, what? I don't know. I hadn't really thought the rest of that one through. Um, intrude, I guess. You're not. I'll make some room for you. You sure? Of course. Thanks. She stares at him a minute, then slides some of her food to one side, allowing him a space if he wants it. I thought you meant me before. I'm sorry? When you said that pretty big, I thought you were saying it's me, about me. Oh, no, God, no, I wouldn't. You did? For a second. No, that'd be, you know, rude. Still. I mean, why would I do that, a thing like that? I'm not. You'd be surprised. <laughs> People say all kinds of things here. In this place? No, not just here, this restaurant or anything. I mean, in the city. So, you mean people actually, what, say things to your face? Of course, all the time. About what? My hair color. What do you think? Uh, I see. Sure. It's not a huge deal. I was just mentioning it. Yeah, but... You get used to it. I guess that they think I don't, you know, know after a certain size or whatever. Geez, that's hard to... I shouldn't have all this stuff for lunch anyway, but I can't help it. I'm hungry. Sure. Hey, it's lunchtime, right? Yeah. I mean, look at me. Look how much chicken they put on my salad. That's not exactly comforting. I just meant... Whatever, sorry. I had three pieces of pizza and the garlic bread and salad plus dessert. Hey, you know, it's your... How does that sentence end? Badly, I'm sure. Hell, it's your body. You do what you want. That's what I think. Really? Of course. I mean... So, do you really like sprouts? Or is that only true for me? <laughs> your little theory there. No, I'm just... I had a really big breakfast, so I'm... Um... That's a lie. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, it was. You saw through that one. <laughs> Damn, you seem pretty good at this. At what? The truth? Yeah, that. I'm not bad, actually. Not bad at all. A moment between them? Then they both get down to some serious eating. So, I'm over at the library. I was in an interview for a different branch. That's why I have the, you know, Miss Kitty hair today. <laughs> All dolled up. Yeah, cool. I get it. Gun smoke. You look nice. Yeah, I saw the library bag earlier. Thought maybe you'd just stop by there and check those out or... Nope. I'm not just the president. I'm also a client. <laughs> that one wig commercial? Hair club for men or something? Oh, right, right. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, who do they think is really gonna fall for that stuff? I don't know. It always looks so cheesy when guys do that. People should just go with it, you know? I mean, whatever they look like, it's just... Yeah, I agree. 
It's a lot of videos there. It was a long weekend. Right. So let me guess. When Harry met Sally, sleepless in Seattle, probably, um... Mm, wrong. Take a look. She smiles at him as he reaches over and glances in the bag, pulls out a few library emblem on each case. The guns of Navarone, where eagles dare, ice station zebra. I threw myself a little Alistair McLean festival. Ah. Don't get me wrong, because I love that stuff, but it's not very girly of you. You're probably just dating the wrong kind of girls. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about that. I can't even call them girls without getting hit by a lawsuit, so. <laughs> You're a librarian? Yeah, well, we don't really use that term anymore, but... No. Sure, of course. It's probably like printed word specialist or something now, I suppose. Exactly. <laughs> They're always coming up with new names for stuff. Something to make a person feel better. A refuse technician or what have you. It's so true. <laughs> right? The problem is you still find yourself picking shit up off the street. It's no matter what they call you. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> you have a terrific laugh. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, potty mouth, but a really cute laugh. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Now that I'm so self-conscious that I'll never do it again. <laughs> exactly. How's that spinach coming along? Mm -hmm. So darn good. I bet. Yeah, yummy. The pizza's terrific here. I come by all the time for it. No bet. I just mean, you know, if it's so good, I, I would understand that. Please help me. <laughs> I get what you meant. Great. You shouldn't be so nervous. I mean, if we're going to start dating. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, right. Got it. A little slow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. You should have seen your face. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I thought you were going to choke on your avocado there. <laughs> that's not true. Come on. <laughs> Pretty close. Uh, no, that's not. Uh, why would you say that? You just caught me off guard is all. Seriously. Anyway, I was just playing. Big people are jolly, remember? Um, huh. It's one of our best qualities. Well, at least you've got one. And you know? Ah, uh, open for debate. Really? I mean, you know, if I really had to come up with one for, say, the big guy upstairs or whatever, I'd probably do something like does not run with scissors, or one of those. Plays well with others. Really? Handsome guy like you, and that's all you're good for? To look at? Pretty much. Good to know. Mama? No, I shouldn't. Why? Excellent question. Okay. He takes a tub of rice pudding from her and digs in. Good? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Haven't done that in ages. What? Enjoyed myself like that. Put something in my mouth without reading the back label like some Bible scholar. He gives a example, holding the pudding up to the light as if it was an antiquity and squinting. <laughs> Dancing it from all angles. <laughs> All right, okay, we're gonna have to ask you to leave. You're actually enjoying yourself during the work week. Right, sorry. No, I told you I love your laugh. It's okay. Thanks, again. You're welcome. So, no other good qualities, huh? Um, I suppose 
faithful friend and coworker, dependable, takes directions well. What about good lover? Not on the list? That's very direct. Librarians are funny people. I guess I shouldn't have let my card lapse. No, look what you've been missing. Yeah. So? Um, I'm okay. I mean, no reports of absolute dissatisfaction, but I don't think I'm like Valentino or anything. You mean the movie guy? The chic or whatever. Yeah, wasn't he like this big Latin lover or something? I guess that was the story. He died really unhappy though. I've read his biography. One of the perks of the job. Right. I've read just about every biography in the place, actually. Real people interest me. I don't really have much time for fiction. Fiction is for the weak and faint of heart. Somebody said that. A Frenchman, I think. Cool. Anyway, you don't have to answer the question. It was rude. No, uh, I, I mean, I sort of did. And you're what? Just okay? Something like that. I, I do fine. Wow, I've never been asked that before in that way. No? Not at lunch, anyhow. It's kind of invigorating, actually. You seem like a really, I don't know, an interesting person, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you should swing by the library sometime, see what you've been missing. Yeah. Listen, um, uh, I need to get back to the office downtown, so I should finish up my... Um... Oh, right. Sorry if I was... No, no, it was... Um, but could we... I don't know what I'm asking here. Should we see each other again? Why? I don't know. I, I mean, I'm just, it'd be good, I think. You seem really nice, and I, what can I say? I'm just asking sort of out of the blue. So could we? I'm not trying to pick you up or anything. I just. Too bad. <laughs> yes, we should. For lunch or um, dinner? You know what? I don't only eat. I can be coaxed into doing other things, too. Of course. I, I didn't mean... <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a joke. Right. Sure. Really striking out on the humor part here. <laughs> You're doing fine. So, when? Anytime. How about Friday? I'm good for Fridays. My day off. Uh, yeah, evening. Great. She reaches over and takes a pen out of his shirt pocket and writes down her number on the side of a napkin. Now, when you wipe your mouth, you'll think of me. Good plan. So, okay, library lady, I'll call you. Helen. My name is Helen. As in of Troy? Yeah, that was so lame. Sorry. <laughs> right. The thousand ships and all. But that was just so they could carry me back. Because it would take that many to lift me? Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, I see. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, just trying to be cute. No, yes, I get it now. But you shouldn't do that, though. Make fun of yourself so much. Why not? Um, I'm sure there's a very good reason. I'll get back to you. You do that. You've got the number there. Right. I'll call you. And I'm Tom, by the way. I'll see you, Tom. She wanders off with her tray and her bag. Tom stands alone. After a moment, she returns, walks right up to him, and gets close. So look, I figure there's every reason why I'll never hear from you again. So that's why I came back here. Just to tell you that I don't do this 
come after guys or anything, not like some regular habit or whatever. So I just thought you should know that. I think you're really cute and nice and that sort of thing. <laughs> you might have a girlfriend already or not be attracted to me. I would just totally understand that. <laughs> I would. But I really do hope you call me. Just even to talk on the phone would be nice. Because I'd like that. If we were only these phone buddies. I think I would. Just don't be afraid, Tom. I guess that's why I came back here. To say... To say that. Please... Do not let yourself be afraid of me or taking some kind of blind chance or what people think, because this could be great. She smiles at him and does what she promised, wanders out of the joint. He watches her go, waves as she nears the door. Tom goes back to eating the pudding and then looks up, off in the direction that she left. He slowly folds the napkin up and pockets it. The work friends figure it out. Tom at his place of work, busy doing something. Another guy enters carrying some files and a cup of coffee. He throws himself down in a chair. His name is So you're not gonna tell me, right? I, I mean, anything else, I mean. No, I'll, you know. Uh, no, you won't. I know you. That's not true. I always tell you crap, all kinds of crap about me. Yeah, but not the good stuff that I wanna hear. The dirt. I don't have dirt. Everybody's got dirt, my friend. We're dirty. Us folks. Very dirty. Who's us folks? People. People. You, you and me type people. It's not... This is not some nasty thing that I'm trying to keep from you. Seriously. Okay, then. So? This is just... It's new, that's all. I don't know what it is yet, so... So, like I said, you're not gonna tell me shit. Kinda, yeah. Fine. I don't care. Oh, you're dying to hear. Yes, yes, yeah, but I'll wait. I'll hire some private eye or whatnot. Find the scoop that way, whatever it takes. Come on. I just wanna see what it is first, if it's worth talking to anyone about or not. What I will say is, I'm very happy right now. Okay. Now you're frightening me. What? I don't like it when you get all serious. And it's like, girlfriend city. That's scary. That is not scary. This is when we lose you for weeks at a time. Tom gets a lady friend and drops off the map. I know how this one works. I am not at all like that. Yes. You are. No, uh-uh, if anybody is, you are. Yeah, but that's for good reason. I'm actually having sex with them. Very funny. Seriously. Shut the hell up, I have sex. Oh, oral doesn't count. And especially not for somebody who thinks it means talking a person to death. Ha ha ha, funny. Are you in here for an actual reason? Mm, pr pretty much, I don't remember. What it is. <laughs> but I'm sure I had one when I started down the hall. Perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I recall. Because I was bored in my office. Plus, you have nice windows. Feel free to open one and jump. <laughs> you are clever. Seriously, though, I've got work. I've got work, too. We've all got work. Tom, that's why they call it work. Because that's what we do here. I agree, and I want to get back to mine. Fine. Dollar point. Carter picks up the ball, Tom nods, and the two men break into a lazy game of Nerf Pig. The hoop hangs on the back of Tom's door. A female co-worker walks in and carries back the clothes. Ruins the game. She stops at Tom's desk and drops a few calls. Smiles, eyes her, and speaks. Guess what? I said, guess. Um, you're an asshole? <laughs> uh, you cheated. Somebody gave you the answers. Exactly. Morning, Tom. You guys are hilarious. 
What is it? I need to get back. Okay, then don't worry about it. Tell me, what? Tom's got a gal. Would you shut up? <laughs> Word off the street. Carter, seriously? Uh, uh, really? That's not true, right? No, he's just being a dick. <laughs> I'm not. I mean, yes, I, I am a dick sometimes, but not at this moment. Tom? He does. I do not. Jeannie, he's just trying to. It's what I heard. Carter, knock it off. Jeannie stands there for a bit longer, looking back and forth between the two men. Finally, she saunters out. You prick. What? That's not funny. It's pretty funny from over here. I'm serious. Me too. Try sitting on the couch and see if it's any funnier. <laughs> Plenty of room. You know we've been dating, sort of. Of course, I know all. I mean it, you know how she gets. Yes, I know. <laughs> what do you think, I said something? I'm not gonna tell the snack shop guy out front. I mean, what the fuck would he care? You are a piece of work, you know that? I try. <sighs> anyway, that's what you can expect, by the way. Mean-spirited shit like that until you tell me who she is. I'm not gonna say a damn thing now. <laughs> Your choice, but I'll find out, I promise. Yeah, yeah. And then, up goes her Polaroid in the break room. Fuck her! <laughs> Maybe after you're through with her, of course. Shut up and go back to your lair, Satan. Fair enough. Hey, seriously, though, does Jeannie know any, uh, look kind of soft to you? What? A minute ago. Doesn't she look a bit sloppy or something? In her ass, I'm saying, you know, flabby. No. Come on, I'm just talking. Not a judgment on you. I, I know, but I'm not obsessed by bodies the way you are. I'm not. I don't know what it is, but I was noticing it yesterday. She came into my office with her suit jacket off. She had on one of those, you know, flimsy sort of blouses with the no sleeves look. I seriously thought her arms have gotten chunkier or whatever in the past few months. Dude, you need some help. What? It's an observation, that's all. Her arms, the ass. I can't help it if I observe things. No, but you can keep it to yourself and your therapist who I hope you're still seeing. <sighs> nah, that shit was too expensive. Plus she was a total bitch. Nice. Not like some derogatory thing I'm saying about her. Not the therapist cunt, <laughs> but Jeannie. It's just a idle thought. She seems to be packing on some. That's the problem with, with winter. Chicks don't get out much and they blow it up. Okay, I really can't deal with you right now, so go. Whatever. We on for basketball Friday? Chad can't make it any other time. Um, yeah, but after nine, okay? I've got a dinner thing. For work, dumb shit. Ah, uh, sure. It is, I've got those folks from the, um, you know. No, what? The Chicago group is coming into town. They are. Cool. cool. I'll email the other guys and meet you at the Y. See ya. Carter finally gets up and saunters over to Tom. A quick high five and Carter exits. Tom returns to his work and Carter looks back inside the room. I'm swinging past the restaurant to check. You better be telling the truth. Asshole. That's me. But when I get my PhD, it'll be doctor asshole. So hey, something to look forward to. He is gone. Tom shakes his head and gets back to the files that Jeannie has left. A minute later, he looks up to see her standing in his doorway. Hey, got a minute. Oh, uh, hi there. I forgot some, uh, here. Forgot this one. Uh, thanks. Um... Tom gets up and crosses so, to her with a folder. She holds it for a moment. They both tug on it. So is it true what he said? Who, Carter? Yeah. Um. Oh. So where does that put us then? I mean, <laughs> I thought. No, I'm not saying it's 
he's an idiot, so you know you have to make some allowances. <laughs> right, that's true. But I, I don't know what I'm doing. You know that I'm. Yes, I do. All while we were going out, I could tell that. But I still like you. Gave you a million or so chances, but hey, whatever. I know that, Jeannie. I know. I'm just, it's complicated. I'm not saying I'm like some, you know, like glamour queen, but guys do like me. They do. I know. Come on, please. I like you. Don't say it like that. Yeah. Well, I wish you could fire up a signal flare every now and then. Could use it over here. Sorry. I do, though. Doesn't seem like it. I mean, I've tried sweet and forceful, you know, at nonchalant, everything. I don't get it. What do you want me to do here? Nothing. I'm... What? So just tell me. Is he lying or not? Carter is... I mean, by nature, he's a liar. You know that. He likes to provoke people, get them riled up. Which says nothing. Jeannie, come on. So you are. I'm not, no, I'm not seeing any other person, all right? Promise. Look, I'm just asking, so don't make it seem like I'm pulling on your eyepiece or something. If you don't want to tell me, then okay. I'm saying it to you right now. Yeah, but... Carter's an ass, he's... So why do you hang out with him then, huh? All of those guys down in development. Why? Because I'm needy and shallow. Hell, I don't know. Because we all started out here together and it's, you know, it's easier to go along sometimes to just hang out and not make like some big tsunami or that kind of thing. I know it's dumb, but he's funny. He doesn't bug me that much. Obviously. And Chini, come on, don't be, he's just no. playing around. So nobody. I didn't, I'm not saying, what? Don't, don't do your circle thing, okay? Do not do that. What are you even? Talking around shit, that's what I'm saying. I hate that. Are you dating someone? No, kind of. Hell, I don't know. I'm, it's not some big thing. I see. Look, we said that we could... I'm not doing anything, like, wrong. But you're pretty defensive about it. Yeah, because, because you get all, you know how you are. I'm not anything except confused by a guy who tells me that he's interested in me. Very, in fact, was the word he used. I am very interested in you. And we date. And then we stop. And then he sends me stuff like flowers and letters and keeps calling and wants to do it again to try one more time, he tells me. But then we do not go out. We see each other at work, but he keeps putting off the next date because of, God, I couldn't begin to list all of the excuses because it's Monday afternoon and I would probably be here like through the weekend. But now I hear he's met someone, a someone who he has managed even with his many work obligations and boys nights out and all his other related juvenile shit, he has somehow squeezed yet another person onto his social calendar. Jeannie edges a bit closer to Tom now. Tom steps back. See, this is what I was talking about. No, this is what I'm talking about right now. The bullshit you do to me and expect me to keep crawling back in here and taking it. I don't want you to... Oh, oh, so now you don't want me here. Is that it? Go ahead then. Say it. Go ahead. Say it. No, Jeannie, Jesus, can't we just... I'd like to talk about this, but not in public, all right? I mean, can we maybe... <laughs> you can maybe kiss my ass. Tom, and that's a definite maybe. We can pencil that one in my planner right now, okay? Keeney turns abruptly and walks out. Before Tom can even react, she is back, standing in the doorway. I can't wait to meet her. Really, I can't. I forgot to give you this. Tom moves apprehensively towards the door. Jeannie drops the file onto the floor and stalks off. A surprising night out together. Tom and Helen sitting at a table in a cozy restaurant. A meal spread out before them. Tom is chowing down on exotic cuisine. Helen is a bit more hesitant. Go on, jump in there. 
Be brave. You're absolutely sure it's dead, right? Because if it's just holding its breath, then um Yeah, definitely. Okay. Positive? Well, I wasn't back there watching him fix it, but yeah, in theory. I mean, I'm pretty adventurous, but you know. No, I'm the same way. It's I'm not big on swallowing anything I saw on Discovery Channel either, believe me. It's good, promise. Helen smiles and nods, gobbles something down with her eyes closed, happy with the results. Tom smiles as he eats something too. Let's a moment of silence hang. Can I ask you something? Sure. I meant to ask you this the other night. I mean, when we went to that martini bar. You love war movies. Helen smiles and nods, says nothing else. Okay, first obvious question. Why? Just because. Uh, uh, no, not fair. That's not an answer. Yes, it is. But not a good one. Uh, one that tells me anything about you. Oh, I see. You're gonna dig deep now, is that it? Something like that. All right, fine. I like war movies because all the pretty explosions. This makes Tom laugh. He reaches out for Helen's hand. He grabs it and squeezes, holding onto it. She notices. Come on, seriously. Okay, okay. I'm, you have my hand there, you know. Yeah, I... is that not? It's fine. I just wanted to ask and see if it was an accident or not. Um. No, it wasn't, no. But now you're making me self-conscious. <laughs> Silly, uh, I want to hold it. I mean, if that's okay. Of course. Good. I would like to have a bit more of my tuna later, but it can wait. Sorry, shit. <laughs> I'm kidding you. <laughs> no, you should, that's fine. We can do that after walking back to the car or something. We should eat, uh, yes. Tom, um, I really was joking. <laughs> I know, but I'm ready for some of mine too. All right. Is it smiling at me? I... No. That's an eye. He's winking at you. Be nice. <laughs> so, seriously, what's the deal on the Warflex? You know way too many of those things to have just been reading the TV guide or that kind of thing. Please. I'm a professional. Oh, uh, yeah? I'll prove it. Let's see if you can keep up. Von Ryan's. Von Ryan's. Train. No, wait. Express. Lonely are the. Brave. Heaven knows, Mr. Magoo. No, Allison. Jesus. And most of those are obscure, too. I know. I used to work in audiovisual. You're very. Except that one. Which? Lonely or the Brave. It's a what? A Western. Sort of one of those modern kind with Kirk Douglas. Oh, right. No. I mean, is it? Yeah, you know, with him on the horse and he's being chased by, like, guys in helicopters and stuff. It's that one. It's really good, but, yeah, <sighs> Western. Huh. Oh, right, right. Yes, I've seen it, but I'm getting the name confused. I mean, none but the brave. The Frank Sinatra one on the atoll in the Pacific. 
you're nobody's seen that one. All right, this is now like an officially quirky side of you. Atoll. I'm a librarian. Ah, uh, printed words specialist. Right. <laughs> anyway, I grew up with them. That's all. I have three brothers plus my dad. They were all on all the time and I watched a lot of them or parts of them. Anyway, it was all growing up. Yeah, me too. I mean, that same scenario. What is it about fathers in those movies? I mean, he also directed that one too. Your father? No, Sinatra, you're funny. Thanks. I mean, jolly. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> but seriously, I wonder, why? Well, most of them either fought in wars or wanted to, or had some relative who did or whatever. Or are they just like watching each other, watching other guys get shot? <laughs> that could be it too. Probably right. That sounds more accurate. <laughs> I'm not joking. I think guys today feel left out, like guilty about not having to kill things, provide food, all that early man stuff. But for me, I just enjoyed being around my family. Sitting on the couch, big bowl of popcorn. It felt good. Right. And it saved me from the embarrassment of sitting around waiting for boys to call me up. What do you mean? Um, you probably couldn't guess, but I didn't date a lot when I was in school. Duh. I used to be a touch heavy. <laughs> uh, and is that, is it all right to talk about, I don't know, your weight and everything or should I? No, go ahead. It's not a shame thing for me. Not anymore. Anymore. Well, it's all shame when you're younger, isn't it? You hate how you look or sound or, you know, all that stuff that we go through as kids. But I'm pretty all right with who I am now. The trick is getting other people to be okay with it. Right. And so have you always been like, you know? No. What? Um, big boned or whatever. <laughs> that was kind of precious. One of my favorites, actually. What? Big boned. <laughs> my mom used to throw that one around, too. Well, I, I'm just trying to be... Don't. Not for me. I just want you to be truthful. All right? Seriously. Okay. However things end up here, and I have high hopes, I just want you to be honest with me. I can do that. Promise. Good. Great. Fair enough. So then, um, I, I don't know what to say here exactly, but... Helen, I like your body. What I imagine your body to be, it's... Tom, it's okay. I'm not worried about it. I mean, you would not be here next to me if you didn't want to be, right? Sure, yes. So then, I'm good. Secure about it. Truthfully. I know that you're here because you like me. A little, anyway. That's true, I do. Yes, uh, like you. Then good. So why don't we finish up our seafood stuff? 
what is this called again? Uh, you got the um, yellowfin tartar, and I got their, I don't remember now, spicy kimchi maybe with crab. Yeah, that was it. How's your meal, okay? Delicious, actually. A little bit of ginger and scallions. I like it. Good. You know, the yellow fin is traditionally the biggest boned of the tuna family. Oh, really? <laughs> Tell me more. Seriously, with a hearty, heavy flavor. <laughs> Helen and Tom laugh together, their heads coming in close contact. Suddenly, Helen notices that Tom is now staring off behind her. She swings around and spots Carter, a drink in one hand. Tom awkwardly stands up. Hey. Well, hello there. Uh, Carter, this is Helen. I'd like you to meet. Uh, this is Carter, who works with us. I mean, me. Helen smiles and holds a hand up. Carter takes it and shakes it, looks around. Uh. Where's the rest of them? Like, late? Uh, I'm gonna go use the little girl's room, even though I hate the term. Right. Ha. Huh. Me too. Hmm. Well, it's better than shitter. Very true. <laughs> nice to meet you, Carter. Yeah, you too. She walks off and Carter watches her go, all the way off stage. He turns to Tom and gestures. Ooh, I hope it's twins. <laughs> Bet you're glad you promised to play the basketball game tonight, huh? Uh-huh. Who the hell is that? I just told you, her name's Helen and she's, you know. And how, well, and how come the others aren't here? Because we're, I, I mean. Carter reaches over and pokes at Tom's shirt, giggles. Jesus, <laughs> nice shirt there, buddy. They're gonna think we manufacture mirror balls or something. Very funny. I'm not, I hate doing a suit all the time. The whole tie thing. <laughs> okay. They didn't just send her, did they? I mean, not that she couldn't eat for five. Carter, don't say stuff like that. It's not nice. I know that. I wasn't being nice. That was me being honest. Seriously, though. Hey, she's not here, okay? You can ease up on the Knights of the Round Table shit. She's off to the bathroom with a basket of dinner rolls hidden under her skirt, if I'm not mistaken. Can you please, Jesus? Okay, okay, all right. God, it's really just not fun at all when you're out with a woman you know. You know that? Even some, even some beast from work. She's not, just leave her alone. Fine. You gonna be there by nine? Howard's got to hit the road by 11.30. Yes, you know that... Yes. Why are you here? I told you I was coming by. Yeah, but how'd you know where? Because you always come here. But Tom, this place is kind of out of the loop. I hate to tell you, by like uh, three years. Yeah, well, I like it. So can I just finish up and... Uh, do you mind? No. Whatever. Just checking on you. Fine. Thought I might catch you with, uh, you know, her. You really are an ass. Pretty much, but surprisingly, it doesn't give me a big head. Will you just please go? Come on. I'm fine. See you at nine. Yeah, see ya. Carter takes another gulp from his drink, then stops. He starts off, but leans in close to Tom. Dude. I so wish I would have caught you with her. Damn it. Anyway. At that moment, Helen returns and stands next to Carter. He pulls out her chair and seats her. Thank you. Pleasure. And don't let this cheap kit skate stiff you on dessert. They got a hell of a green tea ice cream here. Good to know. See you later, Carter. Bye. Nice to meet you. You too. Um, wh what was it again? Helen. Right. And say hello to the Windy City for me. Carter is gone. Tom watches him go and then turns back to Helen, tries to smile. 
What does that mean? He's, you know, he's. Why would he think I'm from there, Chicago? He doesn't. No, that was for me, to me. I'm going there for work. Really? For like, yeah, just a day or two next week, business. Oh, I see. I was going to tell you, but then we just got to talking is all. Right. He seems okay, nice. And he works with you? Uh-huh, down the hall. I, I mean, not with me, but I see him around. Got it. Did I mention my second interview that I got? It's for that, I, I did, didn't I? Yeah. I know that you know, I mean, I can tell that you do. I made a, he thinks that this is like a business dinner and I didn't say anything. So I want you to know that, I'm sorry. I am. He really just surprised me and I got all, I did want to say something, but I didn't. It's okay. It's something to work on then, right? Yep, that's true. They both take another bite or two of their food. After a moment, Tom reaches over and gives Helen a kiss on the mouth. She responds and the moment grows in intensity. Getting back to business, Tom at his desk working. Carter sprawled on a couch and reading a magazine. He holds up a photo for Tom to look at. They both smile. After a moment, Jeannie appears in the doorway, silent but staring over at Tom. Carter notices her first. Hey, Jeannie, what's up? Hey. Hey, you're in here and not working. That comes as quite a shock. Yeah, it's my gift. No kidding. What? Uh, good morning, by the way. Good morning, Tom. How's things? You know, okay. I'll bet. I will just bet. Carter, can you give us a minute, please? Not if this is gonna get good. Do you want me to go, Tom? Please? I don't, I'm not afraid of us talking in front of him. He'll find out anyway. Exactly. I promise not to say a word. Yeah, just print a story in the newsletter. Well, I gotta get it out somehow. Fine, whatever. Seriously, Jeannie, if you want to say something to me, go ahead. That's fine. Then why are you standing? What? Uh, you know, just, I felt like stretching. <laughs> you know I'm in accounting, right? You do know that. Of course. So anything you turn in is going to come past me. I mean, over my desk, true? I guess. No, you know it. I know that you know because I've had you come in there in my office looking for stuff before. An old receipt or some stack of files. I mean, that's how we first... No, you're right. That's true. We met that way. So I'm sure you realize the way these things go. The course they take. You turn in your expense reports, attach the receipts, and write in the little explanations, and we do the rest. You know all this. Yeah, Jeannie, I get it. I mean, I know how to do that, so. I waited for the Chicago dinner to come through, just so I could see. I heard Carter joking around about it, and so I wanted to, you know, check out who you were with. But nothing's been turned in yet. Why's that? Because you've always been, hmm, how can I put this, pretty damn anal about it before. One quick interjection. This is not my fault here. It was just an offhanded comment, that's all. Just shut up, okay? I'm done. Good. So, what's up? Nothing, Jesus, I mean. I'm just curious, but it's also my business, so, you know. What, to like, stalk me? Please, <laughs> you wish. To keep up on how people are utilizing their expense accounts, shit like that. So what, you're busting me for not asking to be reimbursed? No, I'm keeping things straight, all right? 
it's my job. Yeah, but I bet you're not, you know, down at everybody's office going through all their. Yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, I stay here late almost every night digging through mountains of crap that you guys spend out there on the road and in restaurants and at your little luxury hotels. So it's not just you. All right. Please do not flatter yourself. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. That's exactly what I'm asking. Hey, whatever happened to that Chicago dinner that Tom supposedly went on? I, I guess I must have forgot. To what? To turn in the report, my receipts and stuff. I, I can staple it to next month's, right? You could. Or I could take it from you now if you want. No, I, I've got it all back at my apartment, so later's fine. It was a business dinner. Right? With the guys from Chicago? Yes. That's what he told me. Sorry. I mean, not with the guys per se, but this woman. One woman who came in from, yeah, a woman. Helen, I think. What? Just be helpful. Yeah, thanks. She was in town and we sat down and had a meal and talked over the, I, I mean, some of the accounts from there, like Amtel and others. All right, can we put the hot tongs away now, or was there some more stuff that you wanted to? Carter, can you please leave us alone for a second? Please. But this is so fun. Tom. No, Jeannie, shit. This is my office, and he can, what is up with you? God, fine, whatever you want. You scared or something? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't exactly want you handling a Ginsu knife right now or anything. <laughs> Chicago doesn't have a record of anybody coming here last month. No one. No employee, man, woman, fat chick, nothing. I verified. You called Chicago. I did, yes. Jeannie, I mean, shit. That is, that is like so... So within my job description? No, that goes beyond, I mean, let's be honest here. You are being a little nuts about this. If I am, you made me that way. I didn't do, dude, back me up here. And so I found it odd, especially when I had to maneuver around the girth issues, trying to describe her from what Carter had said. And I'm just drawing blanks from this woman over the phone who's probably thinking I'm some crazy person, but I have all the right information and the clearances. And so she's assessing a bunch of these personnel records, but uh-uh, nothing. Not a single flight booked here in over two months. So I slapped one of those little post-it flags on it and came down here to ask you about the thing. Maybe you can help me out. I never said fat. Carter, you told me she was huge. Yeah, which is totally different. Shaq is huge, but nobody says the guy is fat. You said that she was a pig. I, I don't think we should get off on a tangent here. I, I mean, Tom, you're the one who said she was in from Chicago. No. You didn't? No, I was. You inferred that. Yeah, because you told me you were having dinner with a. Uh, so was she or not? That's really the question, isn't it? Tom? She was, yes, I was having dinner with one of, uh, she's a colleague from Chicago, but from one of our subsidiary suppliers, I should have been clear about the, her. The name was Helen, I believe. Right, Helen, about Helen's trip to, to see us, about the stuff. Tom, listen to yourself. Stop. You were like the worst liar ever. I mean it. In history. Fine. Whatever you say. What? Um, just the obvious stuff. Who was it? She's uh, just this girl. A girl? Woman that I don't know, she, you know, I mean woman, a woman I met. She's someone that I, who I took out once, just got talking to at lunch one time and I was, yeah. I see. And so she's 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit. Dude, this is not her. You got to tell me. Tell me that much. This is not the, the her her, is it? Yeah. Yes, Carter. Oh my God. Oh my Just God. stop, okay? I mean, oh my God, this is a, Jesus Christ. She, Would you just get me. out of here? I mean it, both of you. Fine, Tom, I'll go. Yeah, I, I gotta go find my camera. Tommy joins the circus. Asshole. Oh, come on, man. You'd be doing the same thing if it were me. Bullshit. That's a lie, and you know it. You totally would. No, I wouldn't. Nope. We mess around a lot, but I do not make fun of your, you know. So, you are seeing her, then? It's not, no, but why do I have to discuss this? We are on the clock here. Come on. But if you want to stop and talk about the Celtics for two hours with the guys, that'd be okay, right? Yeah, that's cool. But if I come in here because I'm trying to figure out just what the hell is going on in my relationship, well, that's something you better talk about later. Let's save that for some later time. Yeah, that's pretty fair. We don't have a relationship. Oh, really? No, we don't. I'm sorry, but you keep saying that and I'm, you know, I keep trying to tell you that I'm not. This isn't. You said you wanted to try again. You told me that. To keep you from nagging at me, just to stop you from calling and going on and on and on about this all the time. That's why. Oh. Okay, I mean, God. I'm sorry, but I just don't. Fine. Jeannie suddenly reaches across the deck and smacks Tom across the face hard with an open palm. Stumbles back and hits his chair, which rolls out from under him. Jeannie walks to the door, swings it open wide. Before she goes, however, she turns back to Carter and pushes him hard against the couch. Jeannie exits, slamming the door behind her. Tom crosses to the door, opens it, looks out, holds up a hand to somebody down the hall, closes the door again. I think she took that pretty well. You dick. Hey, don't blame the shit on me. I'm not, I just, damn it. Why do we even have to do this crap? Get all involved with people and. Because we're clingy. It's what makes us different than the rest of the animals. Yeah, thanks, that really helps. I do what I can. Hey. What? This isn't meant to be as a, you know, to make up for what I said or whatnot. But my mom was fat. Is. That's great. No. I'm just saying, I know what it's like. I mean, why you were so embarrassed. I wasn't, for I just. I don't know. I sort of froze and, and then... Dude, I understand. Like, totally. I used to walk ahead of her in the mall or, you know, not tell her about stuff at school so there wouldn't be whatever. My own mom. I mean, I'm 15 and worried about every little thing. And I've got this fucking sumo wrestler in a house coat trailing me around behind me. It's about as bad as it can get. I'm not kidding you. The thing was, I blamed her for it. I mean, it wasn't a disease or like something people have, like, you know, thyroid type of deal or anything. She just shoveled shit into her mouth all the time. Had a few kids, and bang, she's up there at 350. I mean, maybe more. I used to seriously piss off my dad. He was always working late, golfing on the weekends, and I knew it was because of her. It had to be. How's he gonna love something that looks like that? Get all sexy with her. I'm just a kid at the time, but I can remember thinking that. God, that's... Yeah, it's whatever. 
but this once in the grocery store, we were at an Albertsons and pushing four baskets around. You want to know how humiliating that shit is? And I'm supposed to be at a game by seven. I'm on JV. She's just farting around in the candy aisle, picking up bags of fun-sized Snickers and checking out the calories. Yeah, I mean, what is that? I suddenly go off on her like the sophomore in high school, but I'm all screaming in her face. Don't look at the package. Take a look in the fucking mirror, you cow. Put him down. Holy shit, there's stock boys, a bunch of guys I know, even are running down the aisle. Manager stumbling out of his glass booth. <laughs> but you know what? She doesn't say a word about it. Ever. Not about the swearing, the things I called her, nothing. Just this like one tear I see as we're sitting at a stoplight on the way home. That, that's all. Wow, I'm, I mean. I did feel that way though. Maybe I shouldn't have yelled it or, but it was true what I said. You don't like being fat and there's a pretty easy remedy most times. Do not jam so much food in your fucking gullet. It's not that hard. Right. I guess that's true. It's confusing though. The What? I don't know. I'm like, I mean, that night when you saw us, why didn't I just come clean? Say that I was having dinner out with a friend even instead of making all that shit up. Because you're a pussy. Matt, come on. No. <laughs> I say that in the best way. We all are. Guys. I mean, if it comes right down to it, very rare is there a dude who stands up for the shit he believes in. I know. I, I want to be better at that sort of stuff. But a lot of the time, I'm just... Yeah, a big wuss, and I hate that. Despise that about me. But God, it's... No, I am going to work on it. I'll... I'll... Dude, relax. Take a breath. Don't hurt yourself. We can't all be Thomas More. And anyway... Look what happened to him, poor bastard. True. No offense, but how the hell do you know about Thomas More? Hey, I only cheated off the top two percentile in my class. Jeez, I wish Jeannie wasn't so, you know, damn. She's pissed. <laughs> I mean, Nobody likes getting screwed around. I didn't. Did you think this is how I wanted it to end up, huh? No, but it's the way these things usually do. I guess. I know. The guy who first thought up the whole, I hope we can still be friends thing, must be giggling his dick off somewhere. Probably. You think maybe I should go down there and talk to her? Just. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea meet her on her turf with all those accounting chicks around perfect i don't want her all mad though maybe just an email oh yeah yeah with one of those smiley face icons or something come on be serious what it's over you are so done i know i'm not saying to try and salvage anything but just so that we can shit i don't know we have to work together so the way of the world. Breakups are ugly. I mean, unless you get to watch them from over here. <laughs> she so nailed you. Come on, Carter. Don't. I'm sorry, but it was awesome. I mean, I've seen you get tagged by some bad boys playing ball. Never even budge. And this little girl walks in and takes you out like Sonny Liston. Bam! Pretty cool. No, oh, hilarious. Maybe I'll just send her a quick, a quick one. Carter waves him off and picks up another magazine. Tom quickly types something on his computer and hits a button to send it off. Can't hurt. Not as much as your cheek, anyway. You got a photo of her? 
You are not getting a picture, not even a peek. I will not take it, I promise. Ah, uh, sure. I won't. I just want to see her one, one more time. Matt, you are so, I don't even get why I like you. Because you're like. No, I'm not. You so are, absolutely. That's not true. No. Right. You do that little boy thing, the I'm so innocent trick that women eat up. You're so much like me, it's not even funny, seriously. Carter, that is not at all. Bullshit! You laugh at the same jokes and check out the same asses that I do. You date all of these gals and act like you're Mr. Sensitive, but how does it always end up? The exact same way it does for me. You get bored or concerned or feel a touch of nervousness and you drop them like they were old produce every time. Dude, I'm not blind. Yeah, but that's because I mean, with Jeannie, it's been, you know. I'm not talking about her. I mean, with anybody. Since I've known you, there's no shame in it. It's not very nice. But I don't think we were put down here to be nice. Not exclusively, anyway. Every so often, we sprinkle a little nice on top just to keep them guessing. That's about it. You scare me a little. I mean it. Ah, uh, it's just Tuesday. Tuesday suck. Seriously. Can I see her? No. Tom, that's not very... Ugh. I said some stuff, and I'm sorry. I didn't know you two were dating. We're not. I, I just took her out a few... She's nice, okay? It's fine. So let me see. Jesus. I'm holding it. That's mature. Oh, cool. It's one of them glamour shots, isn't it? I guess, yes. Very nice. I, I like the boa. Don't be a prick or I'm gonna... Kidding, she's sweet. I mean, from meeting her and everything, I could tell. Thanks. Does she, I mean, does her weight go up and down? Or, I, I only ask this because she's, she's got a nice face. I'm so I'm curious. She is not all worried about that kind of thing, buying into all those dietary fads, which is sort of refreshing, actually. Sure, I'm just saying. Can't turn on CNN without some doctor. Because, you know, yeah, I think she's pretty as well, but we don't ever talk about that what if kinds of shit. She's happy with who she is, and so it's. Then, then that's great. Can you please let me? I, I'm not six years old. I promise not to take it. <sighs> okay. No, I can tell that she's a very genuine person, even from a photo. I like the sunburst effects in the background. <laughs> that's, that's a joke. Here, just give it back. Wait, I'm serious though. If she lost like 80 pounds, she'd be kind of stunning. You'd probably get on one of those reality shows. I know, but I just said, uh, here. Yeah. I mean, I'm only talking. I'm not an ex expert, but uh, perhaps we should see what everybody in the cafeteria thinks. Carter, <laughs> Carter, you fucker! But Tom is trapped behind his desk and Carter is off like a rocket, out the door and down the hall. Tom starts to follow but gives up after a second and returns to his desk. Bastard! Screw it, I don't care. I am not gonna be... whatever. A little bell goes off. Ding! Tom looks at his computer and sees an email has arrived. He clicks it and reads it. Fuck you and your fat bitch asshole LOL. That's charming. Tom starts to type a response, but it slowly dissolves as he begins to pound harder and harder on the keys. Finally, he stops exhausted, punches the keyboard away, sits. Old territory for the new couple. A bedroom, Tom and Helen are lying on top of the covers, watching a movie, Helen is concentrating, Tom is kissing her. God, you are so... Tom continues to kiss her as Helen watches the TV. 
Um, hold on. Look. I am. But you. Remember this part? I think he's just about to... Yeah, they're going to find the gold. Sounds of gunfire, shouts. Helen laughs. <laughs> Tom looks there. Pretty funny. He got shot. Yeah, but it's meant to be, you know. It's a comedy, mostly. Uh-huh. Uh. Wait. I don't want to wait. I want to, well, lots of things. Kiss you and more kisses or... But this is due back tomorrow. Oh, okay. Ah. I love your mouth, each lip, both. Thank you. Thanks. I really do like the way you kiss so much. You too. I mean, I like it. Love it. I do. We fit, you know? Our mouths together. It's important. I, yeah, agree. Helen and Tom begin to make out. The movie is forgotten. He reaches around, finds the remote, and the sound drops out. After a moment, she gently pulls back, studies him. So, you feel comfortable with me? I mean... Um, yes, I am. Uh, I've honestly never been more relaxed around a person. Well, my mother, but that gets into a weird area. <laughs> I'm trying to seem so cool, but I'm dying inside. You make me feel all everything. Seriously, I haven't felt this way for a long time. Ever, probably. I'm glad. I mean it. I staggered into some pretty shitty relationships in the last few years. I mean, a couple real stinkers. This is completely different with you. Tom, listen, I have faith in you, totally. I do. I know, I see that and it makes me feel great. I, I just want you to know though, to see how much it means to me being with you. I adore you. Thank you. Thanks. Me too. And I wasn't trying to get that out of you. Right, I know. I just wanted to be as upfront as possible. I had a bad streak with women, a certain kind of woman. Okay. Me too. I mean, with relationships, not women. Ah, damn. I was going to ask if you had any friends who might want to join us, or... <laughs> Alan punches him playfully on the shoulder, which leads to forced play. After a moment, Tom lies back, relaxed. God, this feels so damn good, you know? I mean, just lying around here, us together, all alone. I know. It's like, I feel like we're on a raft or something, Paddling along all the time in the world. No one around to bug us. Like the beginning of heaven knows, Mr. Allison. <laughs> Remember? Exactly, yeah. And you could play the Deborah Kerr part. You'd make a very saucy nun. Sounds good. Sorta. What? I don't know. I just... I do feel something... kind of... isolated at times. Helen, haven't I been with you every day? I, I mean, my friends have even said things, noticed it. I'm hardly with them anymore. But... that's what I mean. What? Neither am I, you know? I mean, we've been going out for like 
however long and I, I only met that one guy, Carter, at the restaurant. That's true, but I mean, I've been waiting for, for the maybe uh, right time or something. One of those office parties or... Oh. No, truthfully, I thought maybe on the 4th uh, we do a big party at the beach, a uh, cookout and stuff. Great. Should I go with a thong or be a little more conventional? Very funny. I was being serious. It's just a little like we're, I don't know, hiding or whatever from people? No. You don't think? No, Helen, I really don't at all. I mean, we're not exactly hanging out with your pals either. We barely... Uh, that's not true. I ask you all the time if you want to or if we... Yeah, but... I'm dying to show you off. Tom. If you'd let me, I told you to pick me up at work, all kinds of things. I know, but it's a library. I'm not supposed to talk in there. Tom, please. Listen, I had a thing come up for me at this opportunity. Remember the interview that I, yeah, that. It's a couple of towns over, but far enough away that whatever. The point is, it's a great offer. And the more I think about this, every time we end up in the back of a cafe or slipping into a movie late after it's already going, some little thing in my head, this warning buzzer says, watch it. Just watch out. Helen. I just hope you're not embarrassed by me in some way because well i mean i don't know what no why would you say that i'm not at all what are you nothing i'm not saying anything except that i need you to be honest with me here today if possible well what am i supposed to say now to that. Just the truth? I'm... I meant something easier. <laughs> Helen, you can't leave town. I need you around. You're like the sunrise to me, like vitamin C or something, my oxygen. I need you. I'm not looking for a fairy tale or out of the ballpark or anything. Just a person who cares about me like I do him. Simple. Love isn't simple. It's never having to say you're sorry. I'm serious. No trying to be clever. No trying to be clever here. No jokes. Or film quotes. Just be very clear and honest. Fine. Look, I want to be truthful now, so just let me, you know, bumble along, all right? Please, bumble on. Helen, I want you both mentally and physically, each curve, every last inch of you. I'd hope you can see that by now. So I don't know how to do this to say exactly how I'm feeling because you know, I'm a guy and we're taught how to kick stuff and tear the wings off shit. But look, I can see that we've got something here. I'm not stupid, right? Do not answer that. And I need you to know that I know. I'm really just so damn overcome by this. Here, us. I don't take it lightly or in some carefree manner at all. No, Helen, you are just, well, very important to me. Very. Look, I'm falling for you, falling hard, and 
Yeah, I am. And I hope that you give me a chance to prove that in the near future at the aforementioned volleyball slash beach party or at some other to be determined public gathering. And if you take that other job, even a few towns over, it'd be a real, you know, bad thing. Okay, that sort of sucks, but most of the ingredients were in there. Yeah. And it was kind of lovely. Then good. Thanks. No. Thank you, Tom Sullivan. You're welcome, Helen. What's your last name again? I know it has like a B in it. Bond. <laughs> you ass. I, Bond, sorry. Bond. You're up. Awesome. You too, Tom. You're a good man. Good and strong and brave and mm, lots of nice things. Mm. I love it when you talk dirty. Tom begins to kiss her more and more. Helen responds and after a moment lets him unfasten her bra. Tom starts to caress and kiss her there. Helen's eyes slowly close. Her hand searches around, finds the remote again. Click, up come the sounds of war and mayhem on the soundtrack, loud. Twists and turns at the office. Tom at his desk again, working. Jeannie standing nearby with a file in her hand, waiting. So, are you bringing her to the next, the thing next time? Huh? Uh, yeah, I think. Not sure? Ah, uh, you know, she's gonna check if she can get off from work. Oh, I see. And what does she do? She's a printed word specialist. Ah, oh, perfect. What's that? Nothing. Are you almost done there? I need to get those out by five. Yeah, hold on. No pictures of her up yet. No. How come? Wasn't the one that appeared on everybody's desktop this morning enough? You need more laughs than this? I wouldn't mind. Great. Yeah, I'd be up for that. You really are awful. You know that? I mean it. Just keep signing, okay? Your little sermon isn't necessary. I'm not, whatever. That's exactly right. Whatever. Jeannie, can't, can't we just be? Don't bother, just sign. Mom is about to follow instructions, but pulls the files up from the desk and slips them in a drawer. Shuts it, sits back as he checks his watch. No, uh, you've got time and I want you to tell me, go on, what the hell I did to you that was so bad? Do it. Tom, don't be a prick, all right? I need to make FedEx. You will, just... No, I'm not obligated to talk with you about shit. We're co-workers. We work together now, and that is all. Give me the files. Nope. You're an asshole. Maybe so, I don't know. Maybe I am or have been to you. That's what I'm saying. If I have, then tell me. Show me how. It's a standoff for a moment, then Jeannie makes a move towards Tom. He stands up and holds his ground. She backs off and retreats to one side, hands on her hips. I don't even want to discuss your fat bitch, okay? She's... Stop that! So, forget it. I'll just say about us, I mean, what we... No, let's do the whole... Fuck you. Don't tell me what to do at all. I'm not. I'm just saying we should probably, you know... We should have probably done a lot of things. We should probably be engaged now if you weren't just spineless shit like every other guy. So. Your mouth is like, I don't know, wow. Yeah, exactly right. Wow. I'm 28 years old and I just keep hitting the booby prize. And you know what? After a while, it really starts to get you down. But I am not. That's not my problem. I didn't say that. It's no one's problem, me included. It just sucks. That's what I'm saying. Mm. 
different. But you ended up being the same kind of lame guy that I perpetually date. And it just freaks me out a little that maybe you're the only type out there. These baby boys who run around in nice clothes, but all they really want to do is breastfeed for the rest of their days. I don't, I can't speak for other people, Jeannie, but I. I don't care anymore. I don't. I'm just saying that. You and I didn't end up working out, but it doesn't mean I like you. I always did like you, but we're... Tom, I know you think that means something to me, but it, it's really just dribble, okay? More of the same. Fine. I'm sorry. And that doesn't do shit either. Tom nods and sits and pulls out the files, signs his name in several more places, then holds them out. Jeannie goes over and grabs them, hovers. Yes. I know I said I wasn't gonna, but I really need to know. What? Her. What's the story with that one? Jeannie. I mean, I hope it's the mothering thing or whatever, because if not, it's just so off the charts gross. I don't know what to say. We should probably stop now. I mean, you know what everybody is saying around here, right? I, I know that you know, and it doesn't even phase you, huh? Or at all? I, am, I don't want to do this here. It's not like she's, she's really fat, Tom. A fat sow and you know it. I can tell you're aware by the way you're acting, which is the really puzzling part. I like her, end of story. Yeah, but what the hell? Did you do something bad in some other life that you're making up for? Tell me, cause she's, well, you know what, she's like, Better than the rest of us. I mean, it, it, is she a good cook or? Stop it! Jeannie, just stop this. I get that you're pissed at me and you needed to blow off some steam. So that's why I, 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 I allowed you to say stuff, but. You didn't allow me shit, Tom. I can say whatever I want, anytime I want. The whole company is, why should I be any different? Then talk if you want to, I do not care. I enjoy her because she's not you, anything like you. She's not obsessed with looks and money and clothes and useless bullshit like that, okay? I like who I am when I'm with her, okay? So just, fuck, just leave us alone. Oh, us. So it's us now, huh? Yeah, it is. And forgive me for saying it, but she seems a little obsessed with some things, like maybe Cheetos. Tom starts to come around his desk now, determined to put an end to this. Jeannie stares him down. I'm serious here. You need to go. I am going. I am. But not because you say so. Because I want to. I want to be as far away from you as I can be. Good. Yeah. Good. Nice retort. Yes. What an ass! I'm sure you thought this would hurt me, right? Like, what's the worst thing I'd be able to do to her? And, and this is what you came up with. Some self-image killer like this one. Tom ditched me for a fucking mama cat. Woo-hoo, woe is me. She needs fat. So does that mean that Tom secretly digs fat chicks? Chicks, does that mean that I'm fat? Huh? Is that what this is about? Getting back at me? Sheenie, get out of here, now. Doesn't hurt me at all. Not one bit! It just makes you look like some creepy fucker and totally odd. I don't care. I hate you. I hate you so, so much. Sheenie storms out of his office, leaving the door wide open. Tom doesn't have the strength to close it. He crosses the couch instead and sits, rubs his eyes. When he opens them, he sees Carter standing at the door. Go away. Seriously. That's not very neighborly. Neighbors don't treat neighbors that way. Enemies barely do. Dude, it's a joke. Think of it as payback for forwarding everybody my email about that one lady at lunch. And I did see the string of her tampon, by the way. And she crossed her legs. Ooh, ugh. I'm not kidding, Carter. I thought Helen looked good blown up like that. Several people, and I talked to, they, they, 
They said they were going to keep it. Come on, man. Really, just leave me alone today. All right. But instead of leaving, Carter goes and drops into Tom's chair and starts playing with it, swinging in circles and raising and lowering the seat mechanism. If Moses had needed, like, another plague, I would have given him your number. Bad day. I'm getting used to him. That's why I'm here. To be, like, a calming influence. Great. If you're my best chance, then I am screwed. Uh, all will be fine, my friend, I promise. Okay. <laughs> I don't even need to ask why you're here. Just chilling. Yeah, <laughs> figured. <laughs> so, uh, let me ask you something then. Shoot. And honestly, now, just an opinion is all, so no big deal. I'm ready. What do you actually think of her? Helen, I mean. Not for you or, or like scoping her out down in Jamaica or that type of thing, just as a person. Oh, like that? Yes. Hmm. Uh, you're begging for trouble. That's why do I even ask you? No, and I'll tell you why. I will. I know that I'm not super familiar with her or anything like that, her qualities, of which there may be many. There are. And that's great. Terrific. But I'm just talking purely as an, is this a good deal for my pal here thing. Fine. And? And you got a long road ahead. That's all. I'm just being honest. Fine. I'm not saying, I don't admire you. I do, actually. Because I know that I couldn't do it. But she's gonna wind up a weight around your neck. Uh, forgive that pun. You're doing that strictly on a physical basis, which is... Of course. Fuck. What else can I go on? I don't want to come off as some Elton John here. You're a good-looking guy. You're successful, a bit of a player in the industry. I don't, I don't understand you taking God's good gifts and pissing on them. Carter. Dude, you're the one who evoked a biblical thing earlier. So take a glance at Noah and all the flood shit. He didn't pair up the apes with the antelope, right? It's one of many laws of nature. Run with your own kind. That is so out of whack that I'm like completely lost now. Hey, it's a free country and this is how you really feel, then you're a fucking Gunga dick. Better than me, better man than I am. And that's, and, and all that shit. Just don't be surprised when you turn a few heads down at the mall. But why can't we, I mean, shit. I don't know, man, I like her a lot. She makes me happy, and I really want to make her happy, too. I'm not saying that she can't be happy. <laughs> that she shouldn't meet somebody. But it ought to be a fat somebody, or a bald one, whatever. Like her. Somebody that fits her. That's crazy. Things aren't just based on appearance. Maybe you should snap on the TV once in a while. I'm not talking about what people deserve. I'm saying what they get. You look one way, you have access to all this. Look some the other way, all you get is that. Sorry, but it's true. Yeah, well, it sucks. It's whatever, it's truth. People are not comfortable with difference, you know? Fags, retards, cripples, fat people, old folks even. They, they scare us or something. I don't think that's true. I mean, I'm not... No, Carter, I don't buy that. We are all... Come on, come on, come on. Be honest. The thing they represent that's so scary is what we could be. How vulnerable we are. I, I mean, I mean, any of us, some wrong gene splice, 
a bad backflip off the trampoline, too many cartons of Oreos. We're all just one step away from being what frightens us, what we despise. So we despise it when we see it and anybody else. Old people though? Come on, we're all gonna age, it's... Not me. I hope to be a goner before then. Ooh, the elderly make me sick. This is, you are not helping me, Carter. That's the most depressing shit I've ever heard, seriously. All I'm saying is this, do what you want. You like this girl? Then don't listen to a goddamn word anybody says. Not one. But you've got your whole life to be a positive person. Okay? To do some good in the community and be a big hearted fellow or whatever. Overlook people's flaws and plant saplings and shit. But you're only young once, handsome and youthful and vibrant. Don't fuck it up. That is all I'm telling you here. Don't take a complete dump on your one moment in the sun. Not for somebody like her. Carter, you're not God. You don't always have to say something, you know? Like everything that comes into your head. Yeah. I should stuff an envelope or two. <laughs> so look, I want to ask you this first. I, I mean, before you hear it from, I am going to take Jeannie to the beach deal thing coming up. Is that cool? Um, sure. No, uh, of course. I mean, no weirdness for us. None. I think you two could just might be perfect for each other. Yeah, me too. I heard you started going to the gym, so that's something. Uh huh. I mean, you know her body, right? Obvious potential. Of course. Anyway, as long as we're still. Sure. I think we'll remain exactly what we are, you and me. Friends, right? Sort of. About this much. Good enough for me. Carter starts with the door. Tom gets up and they shake hands awkwardly, a pat on the shoulder. Carter reaches into a shirt pocket and hands Tom the photo of Helen that he took before. I know you'll do the right thing. Carter exits. Tom crosses to his office windows and slowly closes all the blinds. One by one, the room grows darker. Tom goes to the couch and lies down, holds the picture in front of him, brings it closer now, staring at it hard. One of those blustery beach days, a, stench of, a stretch of sand, sorry, excuse me. Tom in a flowered swimsuit, sitting alone on a towel, trying to focus on a biography. After a moment, Jeannie approaches. She's looking fit and is wearing a skimpy bikini. She towers over him. Thought that was you. Yeah, hey. Uh, you look good. I mean, nice. Thanks. Yeah, I'm doing Pilates now. How come you guys are sitting way down here? Oh, we're just a little privacy, I suppose. Edge of the group is all. Ah, cool. So, you and Carter, huh? Yeah. How about that? That's good. I hope so. He's actually okay once you get him out of the office. Most people are. That's not like the best environment for a person. Those cubicles. Probably not. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> right. Anyway, I hope you guys... Thanks. You too, I guess. Jeannie leads towards him and gives her, uh, Tom gives her a pack on. Well, Come down and do a little volleyball later or something. We'll do. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> See that you're still wearing that swimsuit I got you? Yes. I like it. 
Looks good on you. All right. So I'll see you then. Okay. Take care. Same to you. And look, um, about that other stuff. Helen arrives on the scene juggling a large tray of food. She is wearing a one-piece suit, a beach wrap around her waist. Hey, get everything you need? Yes, thanks. Hello. Hi. I'm Jeannie. Tom and I uh, work together. Oh, nice. I'm Helen. Yeah, I figured. I just mean, uh, Tom mentioned you before. That was sweet. Hey. Anyhow, I came down to say hello and invite you guys over for some games later. Cool. Well, uh, um... Uh, I'm not too sporty, but not that you could tell or anything. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Thanks, though. Yes, we appreciate it, and really great to meet you. You too. So long, Tom. Okay. Bye, Jeannie. Jeannie throws one last look at Tom, then heads off down the beach towards the others. Tom sits down on the blanket with, one, with the food. Helen follows in a moment out of breath. So, that's Jeannie. Uh, she's in accounting. That's quite a swimsuit she's got there for an accountant. <laughs> she seems nice, though. Yeah, pretty much. What's that mean? Ah, uh, you know have our differences at work sometimes, that's all. Ah. Uh, they settle themselves onto their blanket and begin to uh, sort the food items into two stacks. Ah, uh, good, I'm glad they had those kettle chips. Ah, there's Carter. Yeah, he said hi when I was down there. Good, that's, uh, hey buddy! You can go down there if you want. Uh, uh, no, I wanna be here with you. We'll, you know, later. Okay. Beautiful day. Nah, uh, uh, yep, super nice. So, how long do these things usually go, anyway? Um, no, but uh, we don't have to stay or anything. Uh, that's fine, I just need to, you know, make an appearance. No, I like it. Being here with you and all your... It's great. We just promised those guys that we'd, at some point... Oh, uh, right, the travel agent, sure. So, are you excited about it? The trip, I mean? Yeah, are you kidding me? It's a, a great place. I love Miami. I sort of meant about the part where we get to be together, but... Oh, that. <sighs> yeah, that's okay. Helen <laughs> swats him on the arm, Tom reacts and sits back. She watches him as he turns away. Um, weird vibe here, Tom. Are you sure that you're... What? Of course. It's all set and everything. That's not really the same as just saying yes. Jesus, fine. Yes. Better? Uh, food looks good. Thanks for going down there. Figured we should grab some before it was gobbled up. And uh, gobbled. Sorry, I, I should have. No, no, it felt nice to walk through the surf like that. Fun. Good. Glad you could make it. It wasn't that far. No, I... <laughs> I meant switch days or whatever. I know. Kidding. Are you? Sure, of course. Why? I'm... Nothing. Let's eat. No, Helen. What? Same old stuff. It doesn't matter. Of course it does. Of course. Tell me. 
look where we are. I mean, Tom, it's, forget it. Catch up. This isn't, Helen, I just wanted to, to get us near the dunes here so we'd have a little protection from the wind, that's all. Tom. I'm serious. But we haven't. We didn't hardly talk to- I introduced you to people. In the parking lot, as you and I were unloading stuff out of the car, that's not exactly an introduction. Shit, I knew this would happen. You knew it would happen because you know who you are, Tom. I don't, I don't think you're ready for this. Come on, I, I don't wanna just eat something, all right? We shouldn't fight. It's not fighting, Tom. When you and I talk, it's not fighting. It's talking. That's what people do. Whatever. Tom, what's going on? Nothing. I told you weeks ago, I said to you that you needed to be honest more than anything else. I know, I know that. But you're... This isn't- Helen, come on, stop now, shit! This is my company picnic, okay? We're supposed to be having some fun. Fun, okay. Let's go join in the big game. Come on, Tom, it's fun! Stop it, stop it! Helen, please stop that. Fine. Then let's chat, okay? Because it's pretty damn hard to sit out here with a smile plastered on my face. All right. They sit in silence for a moment, then Helen reaches over and grabs a ballpark break. She starts to eat. I can't help it. I eat when I get stressed out. It's fine, me too, sort of. Come on, slow down a little bit, honey. Right, okay. Tom, <clears throat> you're aware that I like you. You already know that. Yes. But I get the feeling, I mean, it's now pretty obvious that there are some problems here, issues or whatever, and we need to get over them. Or, well, you know, Things that I don't want to talk about. I guess. Please, you need to stay in this, focused on it. So don't drift off or anything. I love you so much. I really do, Tom. I feel a connection with you that I haven't allowed myself to dream of, let alone be a part of in so long, maybe ever. But I can't be with you if you're feeling something other than that, something that I am, completely and utterly open to that other person. I don't know what to say here, Tom. I'm worried sick, look at me. And did you ever see me not eat a hot dog that was placed in front of me? I know you hate those jokes. I'm sorry, but I'm... Tom, tell me about it. I know you're thinking something. Just... So we might as well just... One more thing, just this. And I never said this to anyone. Not any other person in the world, ever. my parents, or a, no one. 
I would change for you. I would. I don't mean slim fast or that one diet that the guy on TV did with all the sandwiches from Subway. That guy. Helen, that, that's not. I'll do something radical to myself if you want me to. Like be stapled or have some surgery or whatever it takes. One of those rings because I don't want this to end. I'm willing to do that because of what you mean to me, the kind of just ecstasy that you brought me. So I just wanted you to know that. This would be an excellent time to say something sweet to me, if you at all care about my feelings. I know. Um, Helen, that was such a nice thing to offer. Oh my God. <laughs> Just the way you worded that right then <laughs> in the past tense, it scared me. No, I, I, it, it, it is really, and I appreciate it so much. But what? God, I wish those thousand ships would show up right about now. Yeah. Look, Helen, I've been thinking. Okay. I think you are an amazing woman, I honestly do. And I really love what we have here, our times together. But I think that maybe, you know, some time would be good here. Or if you were to, uh, I'm not sure, um, maybe take that job, it might tell us if we're, I don't know. <sighs> wow. That's a bit of a, you no, know, I mean, why would I do that? Please. Listen. Listen, if we were in some other time or a land that nobody else was around on, like that island from the movie, the Sinatra film, None But the Brave, then everything might be okay. I wouldn't be so fucking paranoid about what the people around me were saying or even thinking Then it could just be you and me and that'd be so great. Perfect. But I guess I do care what my peers feel about me or how they view my choices. And yes, maybe that makes me not very deep or petty or some other word. Hell, I don't know. It's my Achilles flaw or something. I'm... Tom, don't do this, okay? Please don't. We can, I don't know. We can just- No, no, I need to, if I stop now, I'm not gonna be able to finish. So, um... Helen, things are so tricky. Life is. I know now I'm not really deserving of you, of all you have to offer me. I can see that now. I want to be better to do good and better things and to make a proper sort of decision here, but um, I can't. I cannot do it. I mean, I could barely drive here today because of... My hands were shaking the whole time. They were jumping up and down on the wheel there. And these are all people that I know that I, I'm just not going to be able to do this on like a daily basis. God, look at me. It's, I'm sorry about this. And I wish that I was saying what you want to hear. I do. That would make me really happy to please another person right now. I, I mean, a person that I'm feeling this love for. Yeah, love, but sometimes it just isn't enough, you know? All this love inside and it's not nearly enough to get around the shit that people heave at you. I feel like I'm drowning in a shit and I, and I don't think I, I, I just don't want to fight it anymore. I am just not strong enough for that, so I'm gonna lie on my back for a while and float 
see if I can keep my head above the surface. I guess that's what I needed to say to you. But I'm not brave. I'm not. I know you want me to be. Always believed that I can be, but I'm a weak and fearful person, Helen, and I'm not going to get any better. Not anytime soon, at least. But that's, it's something we can work on, right? Can we, Tom? Right? No, I don't think I can. Helen begins to cry. Tom continues to cry as well. Big, rolling tears as they both stare out to sea. Silence darkness. 